Hoyo is the Somali word for mother. It is also the name of a startup that's catching the attention of food lovers all across the Twin Cities. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us tonight, food is the focus, but there's a much bigger purpose here. Every kitchen is full of secrets. Make sure it doesn't have holes because you don't want the oil going in. These moms are ready to share their secret with the world, making sambusa a Somali delicacy. Sambusa is not an easy to make. It's very hard to make. It's time consuming. And they're taking the time to do it right from scratch. They make a dough carefully, form it into the proper shape, and stuff it full of beef or lentils and garlic, cumin, and fresh onions. And sambusa is something every Somali woman knows how to make. Given that, we, we thought we should hire them for a job that they don't need to let speak English, they don't need to learn, and they're having fun. Uh, Miriam came up with the idea, and her friend, a restaurant consultant, helped to launch it. We have a ton of Somali neighbors, and one thing is we got to try a lot of their food. Um, and get to meet them and thought these were amazing and they're such good cooks. Miriam says the food is the focal point, but the chefs are the heart of the operation. She says it can be hard for Somali women who don't speak English and wear hijabs to find work. She pays this team $15 an hour. Now there is one stumbling block for growth here. The ladies have access to a community kitchen two days a week, but if they could have their own kitchen, they could turn out these sambuses at a much higher rate. For now, they're selling products online and in co-ops all over the Twin Cities. And they'll keep working with the skill and will Mention everything that's in here. of a mother. My hope is to see this company hiring all kinds of women and growing and growing. And it will be in many stores that will love our, our food because every store that every person who tastes the Busa loves it. And hope you today you will have a chance to taste it. In Bloomington, delicious. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. Cheers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> WCCO 4 News. The founders of Hoyo originally thought their customer base would be in the Somali community, but the Sambusas have been a big hit in co-ops all across the Twin Cities. We've got a list of places you'll find them if you just head to WCCO.com.